so here we made uh, we can draw uh, among these between these lists but now what we want to do is uh, just uh, order them up so which according to their priorities so the item with uh, more priority will be up so user can alter them so like that all right so in order to do that uh, we need uh, the order field in our database so there is currently no way to track uh, which should be first and which should be second okay so for that we need to add a field to our database let's open up let's add that field so psg audition make migration okay let's open that up all right so here we'll add that table all right let's migrate it all right that got migrated and now we can okay so the way we want to structure it uh, it is like so for example in one particular list so it will be related to list so for list id3 uh, for example let's say uh, new apes uh, should have priority one and then transformers two and this random one three so for example if that is a case uh, then uh, let's have we need to uh, order that by this priority okay now we define priority in our database so if you refresh uh, currently i think that will not take into effect so one should be new apes which is not so currently we are not sorting it or ordering it by uh, the priority from our backend so let's uh, do that so our data for that is coming from boards uh, board controller and here we are loading that relationship so what we can do here is we can query it and yeah we can display it or we can order it by priority like so So priority will be of will order it by ascending. Okay, that should work. Refresh. Yeah, there we go. So new apes is one, two, and three. So actually, that worked now what we want to do is uh, if some user just want to move this up we should persist that in our database as well so currently that is not happening yeah it will revert after refresh so to do that uh, we need to yeah we need to see the data structure first so if we see inside that okay here so we have this card object so list id1 okay currently new apes is up then transformer so if we move this transformer up uh, we'll see what happens here in our data structure so let's move that up and drop that down so here as you can see it changes here so it becomes zero and it becomes one so currently as you can see we have this uh, the card 
uh, object has the data which we require here so if we can send this whole data in cards and persist or update our database accordingly we can achieve this result so currently it is achieving here temporarily so what we will do is we will send this cards object to our database and update all of the boards or all of the cards in particular list okay so let's do that let's go to our front end code and here we have cards object so we'll send this whole cards to our back end okay so that method uh, method will be triggered when uh, when we change something so let's first is that uh, I think we have this change event here and on change I'll call this method on change we got event by default and let's log that event and also log uh, updating or change changing yeah let's uh, change it up yeah changing yeah, first thing we'll do is uh, just get the reformatted or new card structure so i'll define new cards and upon all let's make them null so here what we'll do is on change will uh, this dot cards will grab all of the cards and then we'll map through each of them and I will map through each of them and in our individual card will change the priority card dot priority equals to so we get card and index the so card dot priority will be index plus one because index will be zero and I like that so we will assign priority according to their order okay actually we'll uh, change the priority according to index and then we'll return card so now new cards will have uh, a value with priority uh, according to their order here so now if we console log them let's move this transformers all the way up so now if we see that new data transformers should be up there we go so and priority will be one and accordingly yeah priority will be three of yeah this random number so now we have access to this data and now we'll send this uh, new cards to our backend and so actually it will be patch since we are we'll only update priority of these cards so axios dot patch update all yeah that's good and now we'll pass uh, cards which will be new cards then we'll respond to our response coming from server ok 
okay there we go so now let's define this endpoint okay currently we don't need to pass any list id and thing we'll check in our backend uh, since card got the information about list and all other stuff we'll do through each and check there so let's move to our backend and define this endpoint in our web.php we'll define so we'll uh, duplicate one and then we'll define patch request with update all subcard controller update all let's switch to card controller and define that method all the way down update all and here i'll define requests and now we'll loop through each cards okay so now we are looping through each of uh, the new cards data which we get from our front end and now here uh, we'll uh, first we'll grab our uh, existing cards so actually here we'll need two loops so uh, first we'll loop through each cards as card and inside here uh, we'll loop through uh, these card from our front end okay currently we will not focus on making code everything uh, right or refactors just we'll just make thing work for now so if a uh, new card so we'll check uh, the id of new card sorry and here we'll check I if id is equals to uh, card id will update so card update and we'll update the priority so we'll update it with uh, priority of new card priority uh, yes I think it's fine so make sure to uh, mask assign allow it to mask assign so we need to make it fillable there we go so we are looping through each of the cards here so you can also pass the list ID so that we can just grab the particular cards in particular list so that we don't have to loop through all cards that is one thing we might have to consider and yeah so we are looking through all of these cards and also we are looking through these data we get from our front end and if uh, the uh, id of the new card matches with card id from our front end in that case we'll update it with priority now we'll send response with the status code and now let's try so let's update it up and yeah so let's refresh so it persists so it's working